It is not happiness that makes us grateful. It's gratefulness that makes us happy. The true hero is one who conquers his own anger and hatred. Compassion is not religious business. It is human business. It is not luxury. It is essential for our own peace and mental stability. It is essential for human survival. Dangerous consequences will follow when politicians and rulers forget moral principles. Whether we believe in God or karma, ethics is the foundation of every religion. A good friend who points out mistakes and imperfections and rebukes evil is to be respected as if he reveals the secret of some hidden treasure. Silence is sometimes the best answer. In order to lead a meaningful life, you need to cherish others, pay attention to human values and try to cultivate inner peace. The enemy is the necessary condition for practicing patience. The more honest you are, the more open, the less fear you will have, because there's no anxiety about being exposed or revealed to others. All major religious traditions carry basically the same message. That is love, compassion and forgiveness. The important thing is they should be part of our daily lives. Choose to be optimistic, and it feels better. When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. When you realize that everything springs from yourself, you will learn both peace and joy. Compassion is the radicalism of our time. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. The way to change others' minds is with affection and not anger. When you realize you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Sharing your knowledge is a way to achieve immortality. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. Know the rules well, so you can break them effectively. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others. And if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. If there is no solution to the problem, then don't waste time worrying about it. If there is a solution to the problem, then don't waste time worrying about it. Remember that sometimes, not getting what you want, is a wonderful stroke of luck. People take different roads seeking fulfillment and happiness. Just because they're not on your road, doesn't mean they've gotten lost. True change is within. Leave the outside as it is. Love and compassion are the true religions to me. But to develop this, we do not need to believe in any religion. Judge your success by what you had to give up in order to get it. 
If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. When we meet real tragedy in life, we can react in two ways. Either by losing hope and falling into self-destructive habits, or by using the challenge to find our inner strength. We can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. All suffering is caused by ignorance. People inflict pain on others in the selfish pursuit of their own happiness or satisfaction. Wherever you have friends, that's your country. And wherever you receive love, that's your home. I find hope in the darkest of days and focus on the brightest. I do not judge the universe. Anger or hatred is like a fisherman's hook. It is very important for us to ensure that we are not caught by it. Happiness doesn't always come from a pursuit. Sometimes it comes when we least expect it. If you really want to take revenge on someone, then he defeated you. It is under the greatest adversity that there exists the greatest potential for doing good, both for oneself and others. Where ignorance is our master, there is no possibility of real peace. Anger is the ultimate destroyer of your own peace of mind. I defeat my enemies when I make them my friends. Let us try to recognize the precious nature of each day. When you talk, you are only repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you may learn something new. In order to lead a meaningful life, you need to cherish others. Pay attention to human values and try to cultivate inner peace. Although you may not always be able to avoid difficult situations, you can modify the extent to which you can suffer by how you choose to respond to the situation.